Hey, today I'll show you step by step how I used Chaos Anima from Chaos to bring realistic people to your animations with 3ds Max because really I can't find a great guide on this topic so if you ever wondering how to create realistic people in animations you will probably like it we'll cover cost plugin setting up interface adding actors experts in your projects to 3ds Max and even sending a scene to a render farm. Watch this video till the end to learn my secret on how to quickly render animations. I'm Ross Plemia, founder of Plemia Render and Plemia School. Now let me quickly show you how to install and run it. As with any other animation in 3ds Max, it will be obvious that these are not real people. So I recommend using shots from a distance to make them look more realistic. The main challenge, I wanted people in the scene to look modern, realistic and relevant for 2025. That's why I choose Chaos Anima. Let's start with the numbers. Chaos Anima costs around 110 euros per month, depending on your license plan and render notes. This might sound like a lot at first, but here's the reality. The price usually pays for itself multiple times over with just a single client animation project. That makes it very fair and reasonable investment for a professional Arquis tool. Also, you can try 7 days trial for free. You need to register and install the soft. Go to download section and download Anima. Also, you would need license server. After you downloaded the file, simply follow the instructions. And when it's done, you need to start Chaos Unified login. It will set up the subscription. Here's the Anima interface. Project panel, right here. Here you can upload your projects. Next, library. Here you can find the templates, realistic people animations. For example, you can find simple animations or 4K which looks more realistic and library of vehicles next the tools for the path tool you need it to animate 4d walking people next crowd path tool for simple animations avoid area tool to avoid objects in your scene area tool for standing people next traffic light tool to simulate walkways to stop and start walking on traffic lights Next, table tool, escalator tool, and vehicles road tool for simulating your vehicles. Next tool is navigation tool for rotating and moving your scene. Then timeline to edit your animation. Next, preparing the 3ds Max scene. Let's open our real project. The anima message shows this scene have different timestamps. That's because right here it's only 100 and here's this project in anima already updated let's open it and here we got 900 frames that's why 3ds max shows this message press ok this is a real project i developed for my clients and this is how it looks in viewport let's play our animation and for the actors here's how it looks in the anima and i choose only 100 frames and this is how the finished animation looks now let me show you how i animated people from scratch let's open the scene without animation first we need to create our anima layer next let's hide all the other layers except anima architecture and ground great next open chaos anima Create new project called Anima Test 1. New. Open. Yes. Now go to 3ds Max. Select Anima Layer. Anima. Import Anima Project. Click Open. Right here. Click Yes. And now we got our 3ds Max and Anima synchronized. Our Anima Project is added into our scene with this letter A. If you select it, you will see the Anima Modifier menu. Now we need to upload the scene into our Anima project. Go to Geometry Background, 
click right here, select our objects, click Add, Send to Anima, and here we got our 3ds Max project. Now let's move to our location, use this navigation tools. You can manipulate it using Alt plus left mouse button. Same goes for this rotation tool. Now we can upload our people from the library. Go to category, show only selected. For the walking people here, simply drag and drop this character and indicate his path. Let's paste this standing animation character right here, rotate it and another human right here. Now add the vehicle, download it, yes. Choose vehicle road tool, draw it. Now let's import here our vehicle. Move our viewport with Alt and right mouse button. Here's our animation. Looks cool, right? Another cool feature of Anima is the customization of each element. For example, you can choose the motion phase of your actor. Let's also change the motion phase of our character right here and his speed. I think it looks really cool. Let's set up the speed of our vehicle. Here we can change it to the lower amount, its color right here. And let's decrease the maximum speed of our object. Here's our animation. Next, we have to set up our time configuration. Open this tab, choose custom, 30 FPS, because it will be synchronized with the 30 FPS in Anima. Now click OK and synchronize. Press yes. OK, open 3ds Max. It will upload our characters. Press apply materials and here's our animation. We can see that our objects are not perfectly positioned. Let's fix this. Go to Anima, edit our vehicle path. Let's position it somewhere right here. And after each change, you have to synchronize it with 3ds Max. For example, I can see that our objects differ slightly in position. So let's adjust it a little. Go to top of view, select our parent. You can also select it from this element right here. Move it a little bit lower to match the position from our scene. Now let's synchronize it again. Here's the result. Move our vehicle, our person right here to the right. Let's update it. Now the textures. It's already loaded. Run our viewport. So the textures are loaded. Let's take a look at our preview image. It looks pretty fine. Now set up our animation for render. Open render setup, choose output size, choose time output range, here's 90. I also uncheck all the options boxes, go to scene tab, and usually I render it by noise limit. For example, for animation, 3 or 4 persons will be enough. You can also use the time limit option. For example, this one frame will take on my PC with Ryzen 5950X around 15 minutes. Next, Corona high quality, amount something around this, performance UHD cache and animation. In UHD cache tab, choose animation flicker free. Next, select render output, name your file one. Images will be saved in order. Next, save type as JPEG file, click save, ok. And now the fun part, the calculation. We need for 3 seconds of animation 90 frames, because in 1 second it's 30 frames, which we indicated in time configuration. Right here, frames per second 30. Click OK. So 30 frames on 3 seconds. And I also mentioned that one frame is rendering on my PC around 15 minutes. So we can simply calculate 90 multiplied by 15. Here's how much minutes I need to render my animation. Divide this amount by 60, because there are 16 minutes in one hour. And here's how much I need to render this animation. 22 hours. But in my case, I render it with the help of my render farm. And 3 seconds of this animation took me only around 2 
hours. By the way, I actually launched my own render farm called Easy Render. If you want to speed up your animation rendering, you can check the link in the description. You'll be able to contact my manager directly or explore our websites for pricing and workflow details. We focus on fair pricing, quick turnarounds and fast manager support. If you need help rendering your animations, reach out and I'll be happy to assist. Click send your project, fill this form out, you need to create a project files link, Google Drive, we transfer or etc. And simply upload your 3ds Max and Chaos Anima archives. Next click submit and our manager will contact you as fast as possible. How to upload your animation project to my render farm. First collect all assets, textures and etc. with archive. I use 3ds Max version 2024. So choose this version or previous. Click save. Let's save our anima project to render your animation. Click save as. Choose this direction. Click save. Select your folder with projects and save it as zip archive. Press OK. Also, here's a common mistake. Flickers or artifacts. You need to avoid flickers on some frames. To remove them, I removed the reflection in material of the greenery and metallic elements. Next, everyone walking at the same speed. In some cases, it will look robotic. Also, avoid using your characters too close, because in this case, it will not look so realistic. So that's the complete workflow. Chaos Anima setup setting up the plugin, exporting 3ds project to the anima, then adding realistic people and importing them back to your 3ds project and rendering it professionally. This workflow brought life to my client's project and made the animation look believable in 2025. So yeah, if this tutorial was helpful, check out my course Plemia School. First, it's all-in-one course, which includes basics, animations, monetization, AI, and live mastermind records. Then you can create with us projects for your portfolio. And also, we are more like community, where you can communicate about our quiz, also post your own portfolios and communicate with other 3D artists to collaborate on your products. You can join to our Discord server for free, so see you inside. And also, if you want to speed up your own projects, don't forget to check out my render farm called Easy Render. It's the render farm I found to help studios and other 3D artists to get results faster without breaking the budget. I've also left a free checklist for preparing anima project for my render farm in the description. Thanks for watching and as always, love our quiz and create the future. See you.